Hi guys. Welcome to the Four Wheel TV channel. Support US by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the notification button. Thank you. The pure electric Hyundai Ioniq 5 has been given a minor update, with the range topping model's 73 kWh battery pack being swapped for a slightly larger 77.4 kWh unit. Hyundai has also introduced a couple more optional extras and some suspension tweaks. The updated Ioniq 5 will be available to order in the UK from April, with the first deliveries scheduled to arrive in 2023. Hyundai hasn't yet confirmed prices and specifications for the new model, but we're expecting a small uplift over the current car's £36,995 starting figure. Hyundai is also tight-lipped on the range benefit the new 77.4 kWh battery pack will have over the old unit, as it's still pushing the car through the final stages of its homologation process. However, it's certain to push the EV's maximum figure closer to the 300-mile mark with only a minimal impact on charging times. The outgoing 73 kWh unit is capable of covering up to 280 miles on a single charge, when paired with Hyundai's 214 bhp single motor electric powertrain. Thanks to the car's 800 volt electrical architecture, the system can also take on an 80% charge in around 18 minutes if you can find a quick enough rapid charger. Hyundai will continue to offer the Ioniq 5's 58 kWh battery at the lower end of the EVs lineup. The most basic version is powered by a 168 bhp electric on the rear axle, and is capable of covering up to 238 miles between charging stops. Hyundai says the system has the added benefit of cutting down on drag, as the cameras have a much smaller surface area than conventional door mirrors. The firm also claims the cameras offer a better rear view than mirrors, even in poor weather conditions. The last tweak in this current bout of updates are a new set of smart frequency dampers. Hyundai hasn't yet told us how the new suspension works, although the brand claims the system will improve the response of the rear axle, benefit ride comfort and improve the EV's body control and handling. 